Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use a new block RAJ. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest self ridges under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start using new block origin? Well, what we need, what we need to do first, uh, we need to set this up. So in this case, in your browser, which in this case, I'm using Google Chrome, what we need to do is we need to first access our extension. So at the top right, you should be able to, you should be able to see a extension icon. Let's go ahead and click on it and click on manage extension. Now from here, click on Chrome Web Store. Now what we need to do is we need to look for new block origin. So just type in new block origin, press and enter. And you should be able to see the first thing in here, which is you block origin. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, let's just click on add to Chrome here, click on add extension and you're done. So you just need to wait for it to complete the installed. And once it's actually completely installed, you can just basically start using it. So how do we start using it? But what we need to do first here is we need to uh, basically uh, first append this into our uh, extensions here so in this case search for your block here origin here click on the pen icon so that you'll be able to access it immediately now in this case once you click on your block origin you have the option to turn this off or turn it uh, on in this case it's by default going to be turned on as you can see it's now blue but if you click on it it's going to turn off now how do you start using it well using it is actually pretty easy so in this case, what we need to do first is we want to actually access the settings first. So let's go ahead and click on settings at the bottom right of the uh, actual um, extension. Now you have the option to filter or adjust a, a few settings here. Like for example, uh, if you want to block CSP reports, if you want to uh, change the appearance itself, like customize cost accent color, color blind friendly or disable tooltips tool if you want to. Now, if you want to filter out more, like for example, we have the filter list here. So if you want to ignore generic cosmetic filters, suspend network TVT if you want to, or even parse and enforce cosmetic filters as well. Now, we also have the annoyances section here, which in this case, you have the easy list, add guard, you block, block filters. If you want to allow those, you can go ahead and do that as well. You have the my filter section. So in this case, you'll be able to uh, edit or enter your own uh, filters for you block. So you might be wondering why there's a lot of rules or there's a lot of settings that you can actually access here on uBlock. Well, uBlock Origin is actually an open source software. So meaning anyone can study and use or distribute the uh, actual uh, uBlock uh, software here. Meaning they could make uh, make improvements, fix bugs into the software itself, which is something really helpful since we want to uh, further increase it and you don't want to pay for it. And again, it's actually free. So you can use this for free without worrying on any fees incurring on your account. Now, in this case, uh, how do we start using it? And just want to maybe you want to just uh, basically um, make your... Uh, uh, surfing a lot easier. Well, in this case, you also have the trusted sites here, which in this case, you you can just basically enter the website that you actually trust. Like for example, facebook.com or youtube.com, especially for youtube.com, they actually uh, disable your account if they detect that you're using uh, ad blockers. So it is a great way for you to uh, indicate to uh, you block origin that, hey, this website is actually uh, trusted. You don't need to block their, their ads in here. Now, in this case, uh, what we need to do is we just need to go to one of the websites here. In this case, once we go to uBlock Origin, so at the top right, we already have it on in here. So in this case, once you actually turn this on or turn it off, usually when you reload your website, it's going to turn off all or any ads that you see on your screen. But since it's actually Wikipedia, it doesn't show much in here. But just to give you the idea, I'm going to go to speed test here. And I'm going to actually uh, turn this off or my... Uh, or my uBlock origin here, I'll just turn this off. So maybe I wanna open up speed test Oka. And from here, let's go ahead and turn this off and reload the website itself. So in this case, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of ads here. So once we actually turn this on and actually reload the actual website, and as you can see, the ads are no longer there, which is something really helpful and really fun and something really, just in general, just really helpful whenever you're using uh, uBlock origin. Now, the, another great thing about uBlock Origin here is you could actually filter out uh, a few things in uh, different websites. 
For example, you have the more option here at the bottom left of your screen. I uh, actually added, like for example, I've uh, added an option here. So there's going to be a drop down here and that should actually pop up this section here. So you will be able to see how much, uh, how many is being blocked here. Like for example, uh, this uh, cosmetic filtering on this site. So they have that, which in this case, uh, actually indicate uh, how much is actually, uh, how much uh, the following cosmetic filtering is enabled in here. So whenever you click on it, so if you click on it, that would actually disable cosmetic filtering. In this case, if you also want to block fonts, uh, for, um, remote fonts on your website, because some websites would actually for, uh, call fonts from different sources. So if you want to call that or cancel that, that would actually cancel that. So in this case, that would actually make the website a lot faster or it will actually make the website load a lot faster. Because sometimes uh, websites that has a lot of media like videos, ads, that would actually slow down the website itself. So disabling those following uh, options would actually speed up the website itself. And they also have the option to disable JavaScript if you want to, if you click on it, and that would uh, disable certain things on the website. Now, another great thing about um, the uBlock filter here or U, uh, uBlock origin is they also have the option to basically zap elements. So if you don't want, or for example, you want to uh, basically hide specific elements in your, uh, uBlock, your uh, website here, so for example, I'm going to open up uh, uBlock here and I wanted to use the zapper here. I was going to click on it and I just want to specify which element I want to actually zap or basically hide. So for example, I want to hide this uh, specific element here. I was going to use this one. And as you can see, it's now hidden because we actually zapped that and it's now no longer in here. So it's going to hide that. So if you want to hide certain specific elements whenever you're recording something, this is a great way for you to hide those. But yeah, so those are the basics on how to use uBlock Origin, how to set it up, and um, how to add settings, and uh, yeah. So in this case, now if you want to update your extension here, you can just go back into your extension page here, click on developer mode here, and just click on update, and that will automatically update all the extensions that you have. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.